Right, question one, we've got a bit of expanding brackets. We've got 2a plus 8b, expanding both of those brackets. Now, I have to be careful with the negatives. I've got minus 4 here, so minus 4 times by 2a gives me minus 8a. And now this is the bit where if you are going to make a mistake, you'll make it here. Minus 4 times by minus 5b is going to give me plus 20b. So I've got 2a take away 8a, which is minus 6a, and I've got 8b plus 20b, which gives me plus 28b. Now, you could have that as 28b minus 6a. That would also be absolutely fine to have it that way around. Right, 2 times by 3a gives me 6a. 2 times by 2b gives me plus 4b. Careful again with the negatives. Minus 2 times by 3a gives me minus 6a. Minus 2 times minus 3b gives me plus 6b. 6a minus 6a, those cancel out. 4b plus 6b just gives me 10b. Question 3. We've got a fraction. Now, we should remember if we're dividing by a half, it's the same as timesing by 2. So that would save us quite a lot of work. Um, and we go straight to 2, third, two and 1 third times 2, which gives me 4 and 2 thirds. If you want to show the full, a full method for that, then we've got 7 thirds divided by a half, which is the same as 7 thirds times by 2 over 1, which is 14 uh, over 3, which is then 4 wholes and 2 thirds, which you could have got to straight away by realizing divided by a half is the same as times in by 2. Question 4. Uh, this time I am going to use my improper fractions. So 1 and 1 third is the same as 4 thirds. Divided by 2 and a half, that's the same as dividing it by 5 halves. And then I'm going to use my uh, multiplicative inverse to do 4 thirds times by 2 fifths, which is going to give me 8 out of 15 and I think can I simplify that uh, no there's nothing which I can do to simplify that so it's going to stay as 8 fifteenths question 5 work out 2 times 2 plus 7 times 3 a bit of bid mass you need to do that one first 21 2 plus 21 is 23 Bit of bid mass, except it's at the start here, so 6 times 3 is 18, take away 3, which gives me 15. Factorise fully. Okay, x is the common factor, which I can take out, nothing else to take out here. So it's going to be 2 times by x to give me 2x squared, and then I'm going to take away 3. Because x times by minus 3 would give me minus 2x. This one, I've got both a factor of 8 and 40, the highest common factor. If it's fully, we need the highest common factor. Okay, so I need 8 is the highest common factor of the coefficients. And I need x squared, because x squared is just x times x, and x cubed is x times x times x. They both share the x squared part. So x squared times by 1 will give me x squared. Eight, sorry, 8x squared times by 1 will give me 8x squared. And I'm going to take away 5x. That will give me minus 40x cubed. Question 9. In standard form, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's going to be 5. Uh, it's, it's going to be 1.2. And I've had to times it by 10 to the power 5 to get to that position. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1.86 times 10 to the power 4. Geometric progression continuation. So we know that we have the common ratio which we're multiplying by each time. In this case, it's 5. So my next one's going to be 500. My next one's going to be 2,500. And my next one's going to be 12,250. Is that right? No. 12,500. 12,500. Careful. Please pull me up if I do make a silly error like that. Question 12. It's going to be times in by 3 each time. Times by 3. Times by 3. I'm sure we've had this progression before. So we have 27, 81, 243. 
a bit of a uh, multiplication with decimals. I will need to see some working out. This would be the 45 times by 58. Whatever method you want for it, if you do 45 times by 58, a column method, or if you do 40 and 5 times by 50 and 8, a grid method, and you multiply it out, whatever it is, I want to see that done, and then we should have 45 times 58 is 2610. So this will come to 2610. And then we've got to put that back in, so it's going to be 26.1. There's two numbers after the decimal point, I'm going to put it back to. 12 divided by 0 0.8 is the same going to be the same as 120 divided by 8 isn't it so uh, we've got if we do a little bus stop if you want for that 120 divided by 8 8 goes into 12 once 4 is left over goes into 45 times answer here is 15. this is just equivalent fractions 12 divided by 0 0.8 is the same as 120 divided by 8. Changing the subject of a formula, first thing I need to do to get x on its own is to square both sides. So I'm going to square this side, I'm going to square this side. I've got y squared equals ax plus b. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take away b from both sides. So I've got y squared minus b equals ax. And my last thing to do is to then divide everything by a. So I'm going to divide this by a and divide that by a, and that gives me x equals y squared take away b all over a. Right, this one. First thing I need to do is take the square root, because it's the whole of that side which is being squared. So I've got the square root of y on this side, and I've got x plus a on this side, and now I'm just going to take away a from both sides. So I've got square root y minus a equals x. Next question, a bit of foil. First, outer, inner, last. We've got first, x squared, outer, plus 1x, or just plus x, inner, plus 3x, and last, plus 3. So let's put those together, x squared plus 4x plus 3. When I say put those together, I mean these like terms can be combined. But more foil, first, outer, inner, last, we've got x squared, we've got minus 4x, we've got plus 5x, we've got minus 20, x squared plus x minus 20. Question 19, we want lowest common uh, multiple as a denominator, so I'm going to go for the lowest common multiple of 10 and 4, which is 20. So we've got 20, and we're going to add with that. So times by 2, times by the top by 2, we've got 14x. Times by 5, times the top by 5, we've got 5x. So we've got 19x over 20, which we can also write as 19 twentieths of x. So you can have it either way around. Uh, we want lowest common multiple of 8 and 3 as a denominator, so we're going to go for 24. Uh, that's times by 3, tops times by 3, we've got 21x. That's times by 8, tops times by 8, we've got 16x. So we're going to got 21x take away 16x, which is 5x over 24, which is the same as 5 24ths of x, if you want to have it like that. And there we go, that's the last for this spring booklet, spring 1, done.